Only about an hour ago, this street was packed with people, 60,000 of them, many holding up their phones, trying to get a good shot of the Yukon bus as the men's basketball team rolled in to celebrate a second straight national title. And this parade came only 24 hours after Donovan Klingon made a huge announcement, his decision to enter the NBA draft. And now other Huskies have decisions to make as well. You announced a big decision yesterday. How did you reach that decision? Yeah, just realizing, you know, what's the point I'm at, everything I've done, and the opportunity that's in front of me. Um, you know, I have a chance to, you know, be a you know, top 15, top 20 pick, and, you know, I, I'm, you know, I feel like that, you know, my body and, you know, me as a person, me as, you know, a player is, you know, matured enough and grown enough to be able to try to take my game to the next level. Back to back! UConn Nation, let's go! Yeah, I've been taking a lot of classes and I'll be able to graduate in my third year. So um, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of plus. So I'm um, coming back and um, you know coaches are in full support of that too. But I decided to do that. So um, yeah, I love this program so much. I think that's just the main thing too. Coming back, I got to put on the UConn jersey again. With coach, I mean, I feel like I can grow so much more as a player. You know, I've grown so much this year. So I mean, I, I can only imagine what another year with him would do. So. You know, whether I leave, I mean, I'll, I'll be putting myself in a in, in a better situation for me and my family. So, I mean, um, you know, it's not really a, a tough decision. It's just whether or not I make the right one or not. And then next year we go for the three-peat. Let's go! How would you describe the environment out there today? I was electric. Uh, super, 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 super excited to, to be out there. Uh, super thankful for all the fans coming out. I mean, 50 is a lot. 50,000 is a lot. You ever experienced anything like that? I have not. I've uh, never been a part of a parade, but you know that was, that was one of the coolest experiences that, that I've had, and you know a lot of the guys have probably had. So, um, you know, to spend spend some more time with the team, you know, we won't be together for too much longer. To, uh, we're all trying to cherish it right now. When you're getting ready to speak behind the microphone, what's going through your mind? Um, I'm glad they let me know yesterday. I had um, I had some uh, that I wrote down, but it didn't work out uh, when I got up there. Every time I go up there to speak, it just I go blank. So um, I try to keep it short and sweet, so I, I don't sound too crazy. Did any of the players who were here last year give you any sort of advice about today, about their experiences? I think Alex got whacked with a tree branch on the bus yeah. last year. They, uh, we did again as well. Whatever <laughs> route we took, they were still there. Um, but, you know, they said enjoy it, and, you know, it's, it's an experience that, you know, maybe is once in a lifetime. So um, just enjoy it, and, you know, it'll be a lot of fun. You can look at this parade as the completion of one of the greatest seasons in college basketball history, which it is. But this is just the beginning of a victory tour for the Huskies. Throwing out the first pitch at a baseball game, a White House visit, things like that. The celebration just getting started. In Hartford, Jonah Carp, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.